Hi, I'm John. Let's talk about how you can use NetBackup to protect Azure files NFS shares. Simply need to do is expose the NFS share to your NetBackup server. You can then use that server to protect that share without having to have any sort of additional agent or client to run. What I do here is I can take a share that I have with some test data, application data on there, and we can demonstrate the data is there, present, and um, basically it's going to give us a small workload to demonstrate uh, how we can move that data out of there and put it into uh, long-term retention or backup storage and object storage that allows us to save data. So to simulate some file change, I'm going to dump some data into a file, create a new file, and we can see this as on my application server. So if I move back to my, my backup server, you can see that on that share, when I go there, I can see the same application data is exposed to the backup server. Next, I have to go into a net backup policy. And all I have to really do is go in here and pick my storage. In this case, I'm using Cloud Catalyst dedupe to object storage. Use the accelerator option, which will give me optimized reads and synthetic folds that allow me to reduce backup time significantly. So I'll talk about it a little bit later. Up next, all I need to do is create a policy and configure that policy to have a window, exclude dates. There's lots of options you can do there. In addition, I'll pick the client, which in this case is just the NetBackup server. To do that, I add, just put in the, the server name. In this case, I'm just using the master server as client. Add that server, and for my backup selections, I simply need to go here, click Add, browse through here by picking a location. In this case, I'm just have it in slash MNT. In MNT, and I have my storage location I want to backup. Click that, click Add. Finish that dialog, and then I just need to click Create to create the policy. Once the policy is created, I'm just going to manually run it here to demonstrate how we get a backup charted. Obviously, your schedule is between a certain time period. That's when the job's going to run. As you see the details in the job here, um, we're going to let the job run. Now, this is going to be the first pass, and I'm speeding it up a little bit. But basically, this is going to pull in the data. We're doing about you know 20 some odd gig. Um, and it's going to pull that data in, and we're going to see it takes roughly for that initial pass about four minutes. Uh, NFS obviously sometimes is never going to be the fastest way to move things, but we'll do it at 109 megabytes per second. But here's what we can show you: is I'm going to take that same job and run it again. Now, granted, keep in mind not much has changed here, um, but you can see that these jobs um, can run faster. The second pass, we use accelerator opt optimization, and that can end that job much quicker. So now if I go to uh, the share now on my application servers and let me make some change, so we got some change data going on. And if I go in here, and then I'm going to run it back up again of the change data. You can go over here, notice the elapsed time is significantly different, and we can restart. And this next job is going to run, only going to have to grab the change data. We don't even look at the other data because we know we're using our accelerator technology, what we need to touch and what we don't. And that job gets done in a matter of seconds. So as you can see, Accelerator runs the job a lot faster at 1.3 gigabytes per second. There you go. I'm John, and thanks for taking the time to listen about how to protect Azure files NFS shares using NetBackup simply and easily.